3. Thank you for joining us inside our award-winning locker room show where we begin with some rough news for baseball fans. Today, Major League Baseball officially cancels some spring training games as owners and players fail to make progress toward a new collective bargaining agreement. But on the bright side for you baseball fans, it is college baseball's opening day and here in the 757, a handful of teams kick off their seasons. At Old Dominion, it is the time of year every baseball player looks forward to. Opening day, and the Monarchs begin their 2022 slate with a series against Iona. It's great to be back out playing against somebody else. You know, all the uh, the, the butterflies, the, the jitters, they all come back out for the guys. They were excited. Uh, it's kind of a roller coaster of emotions. It's I'm really excited, I'm really anxious, you know, but once you get out here and you're around all the guys, it's just, you know, feels like you're back at home. And it's not just the players who feel at home. This day has been long awaited for fans as well. I'm super excited. Like, I played softball, so it's bringing back memories for me. We are just talking about how we both want to go back to softball now because this is it's reminiscent. The Monarchs' debut of a new season also sees the debut of new signage hung all around the ballpark, honoring last season, which was one of the best in program history. Not only were they Conference USA champs, but they also hosted an NCAA regional. Last year was a special season, um, just a fun, fun group. And uh, it was nice to see the guys picture out on the wall right there, you know, forever. They'll be uh, immortalized here at the Bud. So, um, but we got to move on. Uh, the world keeps spinning, right? And so we've got to move on to this year. And certainly we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, we're, we're reigning conference champions, okay? Of course. And there's a great group of guys out here. We got to give them our all. These boys deserve the best. All right? Absolutely. 2022, we're going to run it back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dialed in. With gloves, coats, and blankets in tow, fans are in attendance all across the 757. In addition to watching ODU's 4-2 win versus Iona, fans gather at Marty Miller Baseball Field to watch the reigning MEAC champ, Norfolk State, host Marist. The Spartans are also looking to build off of a strong 2021 campaign, which saw them advance to their first ever NCAA regional. The Spartans fall to Marist 12 to 3 today, but are back at it tomorrow at 1 p.m. Meanwhile, William and Mary baseball opens up its season. The tribe beats Rhode Island 10 to 3. We're going to take a quick break. It's still ahead. The NFL chooses someone to lead a new investigation against the Washington Commanders. That's on the other side of the break. Welcome back inside our award-winning locker room show. Another day, another negative headline for the Washington Commanders. The NFL has announced that it has hired former Securities and Exchange Commission Chair Mary Jo White to investigate allegations against Washington owner Dan Snyder. She will detail her findings in a written report which will be released to the public. Now, the key part of this news is the written report because it's the first time an investigation because, sorry, back the first time the investigation was done on the team, those findings were kept from the public. But earlier this month, the House Committee on Oversight and Reform told the league that it needs to release the information. This is not the first time that White has been the lead on an NFL investigation. In 2018, she was tasked with looking into Carolina Panthers owner Jerry Richardson, who at the time was accused of workplace misconduct, which included sexual harassment. He ended up selling the team before White's investigation ended. And following the release of the Washington investigation findings, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell will publicly share if there's any appropriate action being taken by the league. Now, earlier this week, we saw ODU women's basketball coach Delisha Milton-Jones officially named to the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. Well, today, another monarch is on the verge of Hall of Fame induction. Former ODU coach Marion Stanley is a finalist for the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame's Class of 2022. She spent 10 years at the helm of ODU's women's program, winning three national championships. Stanley is currently head coach of the WNBA's Indiana Fever. That'll do it for this edition of our award-winning locker room show. We hope to see you back here next week.